Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I just got home after working and I got a package in the mail that I'm pretty excited to share. Um, normally I wouldn't spend this much on coffee, but I figured this was a unique instance that I, that I thought I'd try it out. Um, I paid $200 for basically a mug and 10 ounces of coffee, which is kind of fucking ridiculous if you ask me. Uh, that's will be on the price range of what I would ever think I would ever spend on coffee. But it was a really cool mug, uh, a collaboration between Big Face and Onyx. So I kind of just did it for the mug, and I'm going to put the coffee in a jar and just keep it for people who want to, you know, try a really expensive coffee to see if they like it or not. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a little pour over myself, though, to celebrate just getting it in the mail. Uh, I'll show everything that's in the box, what it comes with, and I'll give a review on how I think it tastes, because... The last thing I would ever want to do is spend two hundred dollars on coffee again, or you know, I would want not no one else to spend that much on coffee if it wasn't going to be worth it. Um, I think that there's a lot of great coffee you can get for thirty to forty bucks or ten ounces, which is already fucking expensive enough. So uh, yeah, I'll give this a try and see how it goes. I'm gonna show me opening up the box just to give you guys an overview of it all. Hopefully this video isn't too long, and yeah, I'm gonna get right to that. Alright, so nice little Onyx box. They actually have really, really good packaging. Same as Big Face. Um, that's another thing that I was going to go into as well. I did order some coffee directly from their website. And I've got to say, they did a great job. Um, the, the quality of the of the packaging, the coffee actually came in, as well as like the box, the, the actual package came in itself, were both well beyond most things that I've ever seen. Um, it's probably the best packaging I've seen. That being said, you are getting 8 ounces, 8.8 .8 ounces instead of 10 ounces for like the same price as Onyx. But if you are looking for something different, um, I thoroughly enjoyed all this coffee. I'll probably be getting more from them at some point. Um, it's not going to cost fucking $200 for 10 ounces, right? So this is good stuff right here. I think this is a Double Star is what it's called. Yeah, there's the, the notes of that one. I really like that one a lot. Um, I thought it was a good one for sure. But anyway, here is the really nice coffee. Hoping it's nice anyways. So yeah, there's their typical packaging. Uh, all, anything you get from them is going to come in this packaging if you get... I think it's like three boxes or more, or two boxes or more. Um, I already did take a peek in here just to see what the mug looked like. And... Let's see here. Doing this one-handed is much harder than you fucking think. Um, maybe at some point I'll, I'll invest in more if I keep doing videos like these. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to see with the lighting, but it's just a nice clean decal on here that does seem to be printed which uh i was hoping it'd be engraved my other mug is engraved i got it from big face as well um it's not an onyx one though and that one's pretty cool it's just got an open top on it so it's not too bad or anything like that but this one's not too bad either uh, i like it um, i just hope that it holds up with time and everything it uh, looks like that slides off like that and that's what allows you to drink out of it this thing is hard to fucking see like without the camera yeah, the holes right there it's kind of hard to see so that's actually that works that's pretty high quality um i would pay for a mug of this caliber for like you know i think 50 dollars or so so given the fact that it's collaboration 70 dollars isn't too bad which makes the coffee hit not quite as uh, as hard as what i was thinking it was going to be um so there's that mug right there and here is the actual coffee itself now in the description of this coffee they didn't really give too much information on it on the actual website uh they kind of just were pretty um i don't know they, they said that it was a, a a traditional process not a modern process it's really really nice box though i'm definitely going to keep this box and put it on a shelf so that way people think that i have you know great taste in coffee or money to blow on dumb shit but yeah it's uh it's good packaging i'm gonna try to open this up quick and there is the box without the sleeve on it. Uh, I'm definitely going to be keeping the sleeve, just that way I have it. If you haven't seen an Echelon box before from Onyx, it's very, very pretty. Very nice looking, high quality. Um, let's see here. Most of these Echelon boxes, since they don't actually have the, uh, the flavor notes like on the box, they'll have a card inside of it. But I am not seeing that card, so I guess that it is not here. Um, as far as flavor notes go, I do not see any anywhere on the packaging whatsoever. Uh, there might have been more information on their website. I just didn't happen to see it. 
So yeah, I'm going to try to tear this open very carefully. Uh, if you've never gotten coffee from Onyx before in a 10 ounce bag or any bag actually, um, it tears pretty shittily, I'm not going to lie. So you just have to be really careful. So I tear like about to there and then I tear from the other side. Otherwise you will get a shitty tear. And uh, if you ever, ever want to get coffee, you're going to end up spilling a little bit, even if you're using a little uh, measuring thing like that. Um, it just makes it easier, in my opinion, to dump it straight into the grinder from the bag if you do it right. So I'm going to open this up carefully so this isn't fucked up. And I'm going to go get a, a jar tomorrow to keep it in. And I'm obviously going to be very, uh, I'm not going to use a lot of it very quickly. I'm not sure what the word I was looking for there was. All right, so the bag is open. Um, it does smell very good. It smells kind of unique. Um, I'm not sure that I would consider this, you know, $200 worth of coffee, but it, it has a unique smell to it. Uh, I don't even think it's fruity. It smells kind of... A little different, I guess. There were some fruity notes in the beginning when I initially opened it. But right now I'm getting some some weird notes to it that I uh, really can't put a finger on. Um, I guess that's like some kind of herb or something. That's what that smells like to me. I don't know. Interesting. Kind of smells like a backyard. <laughs> I guess we'll see if I'm really disappointed or not with myself buying this. Uh, I like the mug, though, so I'll always be happy with the mug, but... I'll give this a try with a nice pour over. I think I'm going to try to use my streamer camera for this and just like overlay it with something in the background. Um, yeah, so I'm going to cut to that. Thank you for watching this far. Um, and I hope I'm not as disappointed by, this, by the actual taste of the coffee as I am by the smell. All right, so I'm back at my desk. I have the coffee right here. Um, I just have some Valorant gameplay going on in the background. Probably nothing special. As far as the smell of the coffee, the uh, only really distinct note that I can find in it is that really outdoorsy smell. That I referred to it as like a backyard smell, like a in the woods smell. Um, you know, maybe I'll really enjoy this coffee. Uh, but I'd say three different aspects of me smelling it, like. When it's in that bag, when it's when it's ground, it's when it's brewed. Um, all of the above smelled not that amazing. So, uh, yeah, still gonna try it. Still hoping for the best. Uh, we'll really see. Definitely unique. Um, got a interesting aftertaste to it. I really don't want to do a snob slurp. I think I'm gonna have to just because I did spend this much money on it. So I apologize for the pretentious thing I'm about to do, but it goes. Maybe it's just, like, the way that I am, or COVID, but I can't really, like, get the actual distinct flavors out of it that I normally do with other coffee. Um, that being said, it is making my mouth water quite a bit. Uh, isn't bad. Like, it's hard to explain. Like, you can't really taste or pick anything out of it that is amazing, but it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Um, it smells very natural. It tastes very natural. It smells and tastes traditional, almost. It's hard to explain. Um, like, I don't know. Um, it reminds me of outdoors, I guess. 
that's the biggest thing I've compared. Uh, isn't the greatest thing that I've had. I think that I've had thirty to forty dollar ten ounce coffees that are far superior to this. Um, that varies depending on batch and brew, but my initial impression is it's a good cup of coffee, but I would have preferred to pay a tenth of the price for it. That's all. That's my review of this coffee. I'm not gonna sit here and watch you pretend make you watch me pretentiously drink this shit. Um, that's where I'm gonna call it. So if you watched the video this long or you fast forward to the end, you have a good day. I appreciate you taking the care to watch this. Um, and if you want my opinion, if there is ever going to be an expensive batch of coffee that you were just gonna fucking send it on, make sure you're getting something out of it. For me, it's that pretty little box and that that nice little mug. Those are the reasons that I'm not, like, upset about it. But as far as the coffee goes, yeah, I'm I'm not very impressed. But yeah, I was excited for this. Uh, I didn't even change when I got home. I, I got the box out of my car that I got before I went to work because I, I wanted to make sure I could do this video tonight and try it out. But yeah. Maybe if it cools down more, uh, somewhere in the middle of it, I'll, I'll be able to find more in it. But I don't even taste anything remotely fruity or, or like that. Uh, it does have distinct floral notes that are kind of hard to pick up. But besides that, uh, nothing, nothing too spectacular here. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.